All right, this is about your pump. So we have a variable speed pump. Um, you have a couple different parts to your pump. You have what's called the trap up here where your pump basket sits. Inside here, you have an impeller. The impeller will spin and basically it creates a vortex to suck the water through. So as the impeller spins around very quickly, it takes and throws the water up the pipe. When we are setting it, we need to set it to run enough high speed rate in order for it to send enough water through here to clean the pool. Every ounce of water that's in there needs to be turned over at least three times throughout the day. When we have a, a speed setting on here, they're called RPMs. So as you can see right here, 2850 RPM is what I have set for your daytime runtime. I got it set from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's drawing 683 watts. So this is normally a horse and a half pump. So if it was running at the top rate of a horse and a half, it would be at 3450 RPMs. We don't need it to run that much, but we do need enough for it to run, to send enough water through the filter and for your heat pump to turn on. So timer one settings, basically if you want to make adjustments to this, you can hit your menu. We aren't going in the configuration menu, but if you hit it again, it says timers menu and you hit the right arrow button. So if you want to change an item in here, you'd hit plus to change it. You have a flashing indicator. That would be the one that you're going to change. You can change the title of it. I have it timer one. You could have it pool, clean. You can change it to anything you want in here as far as the title. So we could put it as filter high. We'll leave it at that. Go to the next setting. We're at 2850. So we're gonna run at 2850. Here's our time setting. It's gonna come on at 8 a.m. at 2850 and run to 8 p.m. So we got 12 hours of a higher rate filtration that's happening. So we set that seven days a week that shows you what we have then we go to timer two if we want to change this setting so then we would hit the plus we can change this the filter low and we'll move the arrow at 2100 so I, I did bring it down some from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. that way it should still function the heat pump through the evening if you want it to get it completely heated up seven days a week it's good and then we hit menu so now to save these settings you have to hit the plus sign it'll shut down the pump It'll allow it to save, and then it will turn it back on. This is a computer, so it does have a brain that has to reset itself. It'll go back into priming mode. It'll go for four minutes. Then it will cycle itself back down to the 2850 on a normal cycle. Anytime you turn the pump on and off, it's always going to go into priming mode. Just in case you had already opened the trap to clean the basket or some kind of air was introduced into the system. That allows it to prime and bring the water back into the pump through the trap and it will fill back up with water and push all the air back out of the system. Over here you have speed settings. So these are usually preset. Once the priming's done, you can go in and pick a speed that you want. They usually have a lower speed. And then it goes all the way to 3450. You also have a quick clean here. So if you are vacuuming and you turn the pump on and you want more suction on it, you hit the quick clean, it'll get you up to 3450. That will run for 60 minutes 
that should be plenty of time for you to vacuum at a higher rate of speed but actually pull more through the system to allow you to get the dirt out of the pool. One thing you have to note though is that if you're running off one skimmer and you got a partial main drain, it can sometimes be a lot of suction that's running through there and you may have to loosen up a little bit and open that pipe up so you have more coming from the drain so it doesn't suck as hard through one pipe on the skimmer.